Whatever you're making, be that software, a physical product, or a service, keeping it defect-free will make or break your reputation. So you definitely have quality assurance built into your system or process. It may be just one person checking that the created items work, or a team of people and processes dedicated to ensuring that quality is delivered with every step of the production. Taking software development as an example, the quality assurance work often will be integrated with the development process itself. The QA team works closely with development throughout the software production lifecycle, and this collaboration allows for early detection and resolution of defects, promotes faster feedback loops, and facilitates knowledge sharing between team members. QA engineers may participate in requirements gathering, provide input during design and code reviews, and conduct activities such as functional, integration, and regression testing. The joined workflow approach can foster a sense of shared responsibility for quality among the entire team. But other software teams may treat the QA work as a separate phase or stage in the software development lifecycle. While the software engineers focus on writing code, the QA team members take charge of testing and ensuring the quality of the software. This separation affords an independent perspective for the QA engineers, letting them provide objective assessments. It can also breed a dedicated focus on testing and quality-related activities, potentially leading to more rigorous testing and higher quality software. However, it's worth keeping in mind that it may also introduce delays in the feedback loop and inter-team communication. Let's observe the flow of tasks between a development team and a quality assurance team, both managing their work with Kanban tool online boards. The developers have their standard workflow combined of columns like backlog, user stories, requirements gathering, requirements analysis, in development, made of waiting, and doing. Then a QA lane, split into send for testing, changes requested and ready to deploy. Then finally the deployed and done stages. Their work begins with user stories or bug reports and ends with their release with a software update or a patch. They also have separate swim lanes for regular and critical types of work so that in crisis, it's easy to shift focus fast and then to just as easily get back into what they were working on before the interruption. When tasks reach the send for testing stage, they are automatically moved to the QA team's board through a custom process automation rule. For a time, they become the responsibility of the QA team. The automation rule sends tasks from development directly to the QA team board's backlog column. From there, the QA team picks items as allowed by their availability, pulling them through the following process steps. Test design, in testing, regression tests, revert to dev and test it, send to deploy. As one can imagine, when a task fails the tests, it's moved to the revert to dev column, from which it is sent back to the developer's board, into changes requested, with test notes in the comments field. A task can take several trips back and forth before it finally passes all tests and can be released to production. And when all tests are successful, cards go to the tested, send to deploy column, and automatically travel to the dev team's ready to deploy stage. The primary advantage of splitting the developers and testers workflows onto separate boards is limiting the visual noise for both teams. Each is only concerned with their priorities at the time. Still, since both work groups share access to each other's workflows, exchanging information on any current or archived work item is always possible. Also, when tasks connect, for example, when a specific bug fix impacts a feature in development, the team relies on task dependencies to show those exact relations, ensuring the connection is accounted for in testing. For easy reviews and problem identification, every task can be identified with its unique URL, making it possible to find items from any Kanban tool location and reference them in the software documentation and task comments. Thanks to their Kanban tool setup, the quality assurance team can easily find and prioritize its work. Since the process lead times and completion rates are measured directly with Kanban tools built in metrics, the team's capacity is easy to assess. As a result, the team manager can make realistic expectations and keep tabs on the team's performance in real time. If you'd like to try this approach with your team, you're welcome to sign up for a free trial at kanbantool.com.